The following video is going to show you how to deposit a poster into Harvest, the institutional repository here at the University of Saskatchewan. So here I have my poster that I'm going to deposit. Uh, you'll want to have it handy to start, so make sure it's saved as a PDF and has a nice file name. And now's also a good time to do a last minute check and make sure that you have copyright permission for any images uh, that you're going to use that you didn't create in the first place. Now that you have your poster ready, it's time to go to harvest.usask.ca to begin the deposit process. First, you'll need to log in using your NSID, and then you can hit Submit Your Work. And I've added you ahead of time to the FIRE collection, but please don't hesitate to get in touch at harvest.library.usask.ca if you have any trouble accessing the collection, because you'll see it's the first option here. So the poster I'm depositing here is actually from the Schur Symposium this summer, so that's what I will choose, but fire's right there. And so now we have the item submission process, so we'll start describing, uploading our file, reviewing what we have so far. We'll talk about the Creative Commons license, the Harvest license, and then complete the submission. So I will enter author's last name and first name, and then add, and so it shows up here. And then in this case, I already checked, and this author is the one with an ORCID, which is an ID that identifies this person uniquely. So even if there's someone else with this name or this person changes their name, um, it can be associated with this ID throughout their career. So we can just check and make sure it's the right person. And then add this person to the list, and then add. So it won't look any different here, but eventually the deposit, there will be these, this little ORCID logo and you'll, you'll be able to link out to the profile. So next we will enter our title, and then the date of issue, so this was from last summer, and then the type is going to be a poster presentation and it's not peer review, that's really more for journal articles, and then select language, in this case it's English. The abstract, there isn't an abstract per se, but there is an introduction on this poster which I'd included uh, to sort of serve the same job of providing a bit of context. The keywords um, are up to you, you can enter a few terms that you think will be relevant to people uh, who want to read about your work, and don't worry about putting in like 14, just put in two to five keywords that you think are relevant. Uh, and then for funding agency, sometimes there will be a, a sentence that like a grant will ask you to include that includes like the grant number and that specific wording. So you can put that in here. Otherwise, just uh, include, include the agency. And then uh, for your fire poster, you'll want to include your DOI in the description field for now. So that's all we have to do here. And then we can move on to the next stage, which is uploading the actual file itself. So in this case, it's just a PDF of the poster. Sometimes you might have more than one file. If you're uploading conference slides, maybe you have a PowerPoint file as well as a PDF for someone who doesn't have PowerPoint on their computer. But in this case, it's just one file. We don't need an embargo. So we'll hit upload file and add another. We don't need to add another, but it just can show you here that the file the file has been uploaded. It's the primary file, and you don't need to check that unless there's more than one, but just to show you what's going on. So then we can move on to the next step where we review everything we've entered so far, all of our metadata, make sure it's correct, and our files, and so you can correct them at this stage, and if everything's fine, which it is, we can move on to the next step, which is the optional Creative Commons license step. This is something we recommend. Basically, it just allows you as the copyright holder to specify ahead of time um, what you're willing to let other people do with your work. So, for example, we recommend a CCBYNC license, which is the same as usage our undergraduate journal uses. Um, and the BY means uh, attribution, so someone has to say who, who the original author is. Um, and then NC is non-commercial, so you can reuse it as long as uh, you're not using it for commercial purposes. So to choose that here, we say Creative Commons license, and then it'll pop up with a couple options. So we're going to say no commercial uses. Um, but yes, modifications. So if someone wants to reuse part of your work, as long as they give you credit and they're not using it for commercial purposes, this says that they can do that without having to ask you for special copyright permission. <clears throat> the final step is the harvest license, 
which is a, a non-exclusive license. You're not transferring any copyright or anything like that. It just gives us the permission um, to, to reproduce and make accessible your submissions. So if we need to change the format in the future or move around how it's hosted at the university or something like that, um, this grants us permission to do that. So we hit the checkbox at the bottom here uh, and then you can hit complete submission. And so it'll say submission complete. Uh, and in this case, it's done. And so we can go to the main page on Harvest and scroll down and see under recently added, it'll show up in a moment. And here it is, the deposit as submitted just now. So we can see we have the file, the little ORCID ID shows up. Uh, the Creative Commons license logo shows up here at the bottom. We can link back out to the rest of the collection. Uh, and I wanted to highlight, this is the URI, the Uniform Resource Identifier. And so this is registered with handle.net. It's a bit like a DOI if you've heard of those, which is a digital object identifier. But basically it just means that this item is going to continue to stay at this address even if the way that we host this at USASC changes. So if you want to include a link on a CV or a blog post or a website, this is the one to choose. Thank you for depositing your posters in Harvest. And of course, if you need any help or have any questions, please get in touch. I'm Emily Hopkins. I'm the Harvest Repository Coordinator. I work at the University Library, and you can email me at harvest at library.usask.ca. Thank you.